Let's talk about traveling for a second. Visiting new places means sleeping in new beds. And nowadays, that doesn't always mean staying in big, trusted, clean hotel chains. So something that crosses our minds as we crawl under the covers is the dreaded cooties. Yes, cooties. Well, now there's an innovation that's shedding light on those organisms that could keep us up at night. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. They're around us everywhere. Bacteria, viruses, E. coli, billions of them. If you're a germaphobe, knowing they could be thriving in a bed that other people slept in before you do just might make your skin crawl. Yes, most hotels cover your mattress with clean sheets and pillowcases. But what about the comforter? Or the blanket? Or even that TV remote on the nightstand? Now there's a high-tech gadget you can toss in your suitcase to give you some peace of mind when traveling. I headed to Santa Monica, California to meet Hong Kong inventor Tom Yang and learn more about his bacteria-killing machine called CleanseBot. Tom, tell me, what is the CleanseBot? So basically, it's automation. So whenever you put into your bat, it automatically sensitizes the bat inside. What's the innovation in the CleanseBot? There's no one trying to invent a sensor for fabrics. Fabrics will absorb the, the sensor light, so basically it's very hard to do a mapping and also control the distance and all this stuff. So you had to come up with a different system in yeah. order to have it work on fabrics. You had to figure out a new way to do that. Yeah. Self-cleaning robots used on hard floors map surface areas using infrared light. Building one to sanitize a soft bed without falling off required lots of technical engineering. How does this actually end up killing any of the bacteria, any of the germs that are living inside of the fabric? The whole fairy behind the, the product is UVC lamp. UVC, or ultraviolet light, is well known for killing bacteria and viruses because it destroys the bonds that hold their DNA together. Tom's mini robot uses four UVC lamps located on the top and bottom of the device for cleaning both over and under bed sheets and blankets. All right, Tommy, so now we are in front of a bed, yeah. ready to see the CleanseBot do its thing. So how does it work? Okay, the whole thing will work like whenever you just separate the part of the handle, handle part, and it's just place here. And, uh, go on a few seconds, turn that on. There you go. It's just good to go. So how many minutes did you just set it for? 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah. So I'm seeing that it's finding some pillows. It's saying, nope, don't want to go under those yeah. pillows. And it's coming back. So how many sensors are in there that's helping to navigate it? Actually, like total, there's a 22 sensor inside. In the world, there's a, so many different materials of fabrics mm. and mattress. So we want to make sure this thing is going well in every bath. The CleanseBot operates in three different modes, handheld for TV remotes and bathrooms, and two cleaning modes for the bed. I mean, when I look at this, I just keep on thinking, there's a bot in my bed. There's <laughs> just a bot in my bed. <laughs> We're trying to make this in the next second generation be a transformer. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would not put it past you, though. <laughs> okay.